8320s max RPM, so I think we have too much prop, too much bite on the prop. What's up, everybody? So if you watched the last video that we did, we um, added a bunch of horsepower to the Mojo boat, and we were limited at, uh, I believe it was uh, 8220 RPM and 64 miles an hour. So we've got it out of the water, as you can see behind me, and we're gonna pull it out and put the uh, water hose test on it and run it out of the water and just make sure that the uh, limiter is not limiting the RPM and that we're actually under propped or over propped, I should say. We are getting the RPM. Um, it bumped 9,500. It set at 92. It kept uh, kind of uh, burping at 92, as you can see. And so definitely programmed right. And uh, now I would say it's, uh, it's, it's gotta be the prop. Um, you also probably had a couple comments about the trim adjuster. If you notice in the two, the two runs, the trim is two notches from the bottom. This boat has a spacer behind the trim actuator that actually has the trim higher than, than it should be. The spacer should be on the other side of the, of the uh, hull and it was uh, put on the inside of the hull which moved the, the uh, controls back. So it's technically about a quarter of an inch different than what you see here. So trim all the way up is, um, as you see in the, if you watch that video again, when I finish, before I put it on the dock, you'll see it two notches from the top. That's where I did my last run, which I did not video because I forgot to hit the record button. I apologize. Um, same results, did not change a thing. And when I'm running away at the end of the video, um, talking about the whole process, you also see the um, the jet nozzle is kind of pointed upward, upward tra trajectory. So. Uh, this boat is nose heavy and much more than, you know, the typical boat because it does have a full glass window. This light bar that's up here weighs probably 40, 50 pounds with all the lights on it and causes a lot of parasitic drag. And if you don't know what parasitic drag is, that's uh, an airplane thing. And it's just all the things sticking out off an airplane that uh, make it inefficient going through the air. So... That being said, I think there's no problem with the motor. There's no problem with the RPMs. Um, everything's working correctly there. And by simply putting a, a little uh, tighter bite prop uh, and uh, we'll get some more RPM out of it. We may not gain any more speed. I don't know. Uh, we may uh, gain a little bit more out of the hole, but boy, it sure performs really nice right now. I'm, I'm almost tempted to leave it alone because it, um, it's not all about the speed. Like I said in the first video, but um, pretty pretty darn happy with the, the results being able to run on 91 octane here in California and getting the amount of uh, power out of the hole and the, the response in the mid-range is just snappy. It's, uh, it's really impressive. So thanks, Ponch, for all the help. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.